morning guys welcome back to the high farm life channel uh, recorded in a couple days just because we've been getting rain and thunderstorms i don't know how accurate it is but the rain gauge at the farm is over three inches uh, and started off with a smooth morning i waking up just in time to see the beef cattle at the home farm running across the road out into the neighbor's beans so i went out and chased them all in i've been soaked from my waist down once already today and then just got up here to the other farm to grain these cattle and bring a five gallon bucket up in the mornings and throw out for them. And uh, we got up here, the hot wire was laying on the ground. It comes out of the building over to connect to the fence and they didn't come up like usual. So I was worried that they was out in the corn or something. But I drove back the path there and they're all down over the hill. So I'm in the the six sevens pretty quiet, so they might not have heard me pull in. So I went ahead and dumped the grain, and we've got to go because our stainless steel, the first one, first stainless steel fertilizer tank is should be on its way. It's already close to ten o'clock. I don't think it is yet, and we're we'll be here between ten and eleven. And I just called the crane company actually, and since it's been so wet, they've had a lot of cancellations on job sites, so they're going to be able to set it right away today so that worked out in their favor so we're gonna head to my uncle's and wait on that and i have to have my buddy bring our backhoe back because we'll have to tail it to get it to stand up right so we'll see what we get into
new stainless steel one set in here. We're getting ready to put our big cap on the man door. We've got to get a couple valves for it. Or we've got one, but we'll need another one because this tank we can hook it back into itself and agitate. And then we're checking to see what kind of concrete bit we got because this one anchors the ground. We're going to try to find stainless steel anchor bolts to keep them from rusting. The inside of one looks like.